Hello, so I got a video request and the request was how did my person what did my person think when they saw my photos? So the first pile I have is the crocodile. Second pile this lizard. Third pile this frog. It's like a rainforest frog. Fourth pile is this dragon. And then the fifth pile is this cobra. So pause the video and use your intuition and I'll see you at your reading. Hello, so if you chose a crocodile, this will be how your person felt or thought when they saw your photos for the first time or what whatever photo you recently posted on Instagram, stuff like that. I'm only gonna draw three cards or just one card, honestly, because these cards give me like good imagery when it comes to like a person's perspective. Okay, <laughs> no, it's two, it's two cards. Okay, I'm gonna take them though. So, how your person felt, let me get one more card. Okay. <laughs> how did group one's person, what did they think when they saw their photos? I love this. For this pile, they masturbated to the photo. One of the photos you sent them, I don't know if it was a nude. If it wasn't nude, you know. You know if you sent this person a nude, they masturbated to it. Um, they, when they first saw your photos or recently saw your photo, they desired you really a lot with this two of pinnacles the way he's like behind her they desire you a lot and what are the thoughts that they see they think what I, what do they think I'm trying to channel i'm getting a lot of like things then we have the king of cups at the end of the deck and we have the knight of pinnacles so this person how they thought what they thought when they saw your photos they really like what they saw basically if you're wondering, do they think you're pretty or handsome? Like, they really like what they saw with this King of Cups. It even, even seeing your photo, for some reason, made them very emotional. It made their emotions or their hormones. Like I said, they probably got horny looking at your photos. Because I said they, I got the vibes that they are masturbated off the photos you sent or the recent post you posted or when they first saw you, you know what I mean? Whatever picture, however you guys... Uh, what else do they think? They think you're with somebody else. I don't know why. Maybe the picture you posted was after, like, a breakup. Or like a very cute thirst trap. Maybe you sent them a thirst trap or you posted a thirst trap on your social media and it made them feel old emotions. And I don't even think they're old emotions. I feel like it's emotions they've been had, but it enhanced it. And they really want to talk to you. That's what they're thinking. What else do they think? I think you. Hmm. They think you have really nice hair. In the photo. Maybe you have. Uh, you posted a picture of your titties. Well, you had like a crop top and your titties were like looking really, really good to this person. Or you sent them a thirst trap in your bra. Or you just sent them a new of your titties for, for this pile. This is what I'm picking up. For some of you, they might have stared at the photo for a very long time. Or a video, photo, whatever. 
they just kept looking at it. Maybe you posted a story, they watch your story for some of you. They keep watching it over and over. They're trying to, it's like they try to, when you post something or send them a photo, they try to, uh, like they try to put two and two together. Or they try to, they think more of the photo than what it actually is, I, I, got, I feel like. For some of you, when they when they saw the photo, they felt like you didn't care. Whatever photo they saw, they felt like you didn't care. Or you were just extra exposed. For some of you, it turned them on. For some of you, it made them frustrated because when I did pull this card, it made it th automatically thought of automatically thought of somebody that either misses you. This is how they think or felt. These are the things they were thinking of when they saw the photo. They miss you. They want to be around you. They wish they could talk to you or be in physical contact with you. Yeah. What they were thinking. For, okay, so for this pile, I'm going to close it here because I don't want it to be too long. Because I'm thinking about posting it uh, after, right after. So I feel like for this pile, what they think when they saw your photo, what they thought when they first saw your photo, whatever. Um, it frustrated them because they want to be physically, they want to be in physical contact with you. I feel like maybe you guys have been, you know, either broken up or you guys are long distance for this pile. And it makes their emotions run high, run low. It makes them, I don't even think it makes their emotions run low. I think their emotions are, very up and down at the moment with this two of pentacles there it's like they're it's really frustrating them honestly like that's all i can i'm really picking up this heavy energy of like sometimes they don't even want to look at your photos i'm getting for some of you because it reminds them of them not being able to be around you not being able to hold you not being able to talk to you not being able to just like look in your eyes for some of you they for some of you they you know they stare at you a lot and they like to look, they like to be focused on your features. How do they see you physically, though, when they see the photo? Like I said, they feel, they like your, how your titties look. They like your hair. It's emphasis on the hair. Maybe you recently got a new hairstyle. For some of you guys, you dyed your hair. And they really, really like it. Um, or you just had a different hairstyle that you don't usually have. And they really like it. Um, or maybe you change your hair up a lot and they really like that another thing that what they think about when they see your photos is excitement it's like they get excited they get frustrated they get aroused they get anxious I, I think their heart beats really fast or they just it's something about it brings up memories. They think about, okay, for this pile, they think about all the memories you guys had or made together. Yeah. With them in the background right here, it just reminds me of, like, it's just giving me the vibes that when they think, when they, how what they think when they see your photos is they think of the old times that you guys used to have. Even if you guys are in contact right now, I feel like it's something that changed in the dynamic of this relationship, or it could be a third party. And... It's like while they're with their third party, they're thinking about you constantly. When they, And I feel like sometimes they even sneak off to go look at your photos, you guys. <sighs> yeah. For some of you, when they're with their third party, honestly, you could be the third party and then you find out they have a whole girlfriend. Or they have kids because the King of Cups is a father figure. Or maybe, yeah. Or maybe for some of you, your dad recently looked at your photos or something and it brought back memories of you when you were a child. That's for some of you guys. Or it could just be both like, I'm picking up energies on your father, how they see. Maybe they look at like old photos of you, new photos of you, and they sometimes they cry about how grown up you've gotten. I feel like they wish that you were still their little girl for some of you. And then for... 
that's so that means that's your father tuning i'm picking i'm channeling his energy but then also i'm challenging your love i'm channeling your lover and how your lover feels if they have like a third party situation if you guys just if you are in a third party situation your person this person sneaks off to go to go look at your photos i feel like they try not to look at your photos because they know they can't be with you because they have a third party so they try not to look at your photos but what they think about when you look at your photos, it's old times, maybe even the sex, maybe even how, like, good you look. I feel like for some of you, what they think about when they see your photos is that you look completely different from the person that they're with, or they, if it's not that, for some of you, it is that they look at your photos and think that you look way different than their significant other, and it makes them realize that they do want something new. They don't want, it's like they, looking at you and how different you guys act and look um, makes them realize that they do want something new and they do want to move on, but they just haven't came to grips with that. And then some of you, when they look at your photos, you aren't their regular type. I feel like maybe they feel like you're out of, yeah, they feel like you're out of their league some of you like you wouldn't I feel like they look at your photos okay for some of you guys when they look at your photos online they feel like they can they could never be in a relationship okay yeah that's where the frustration comes from for some of you they feel like they could never be with somebody like that in real life so they would want to just keep it virtual like they would just want to keep it like long distance or through the internet or something like that they look at your photos and they feel like it's like basically unbelievable that you're that beautiful you're that talented you're that different looking from all the rest of the girls that they deal with and yeah in everyday life like they they probably have girls around them in the reality even if it's their girlfriend their exes when they look at the girls they dealt with in reality and then they look at your photos what they think is like damn i she's nothing I really go for it in real life if that makes sense and this frustrates them because I feel like they're trying to figure out how they can be more confident because when they look at your photos they think that you're very very confident like look how she's so confident and I feel like they're used to attracting people that are like maybe not as confident and I feel like that's a reflection of them. I feel like recently they're trying to step into being more confident like you. I feel like you are very, you post what you want, what you want to post. Or you send them pictures of how you, like you don't care basically. You have this careless attitude. This is what they think when they see your photos. So if this did resonate, please like, subscribe, um, comment, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello group two. So if you chose this lizard, this will be how your person what your person feels and how, and what they think about when they j first saw your photo or um i'm a channel when they first saw your photo to now when they look at your photo or what you just posted like basically it could be any of those so it could even be like i'm just channeling maybe you sent them a face picture or it could be nudes even How does group two's person feel and what do they think about when they look at group two's photos? Y'all have like a, okay, let me shuffle it. But what I, let me, let me just say this before I forget. <laughs> um, they think about when they look at your photos about how deep the connection is how deep and mysterious the connection is and how attached they are to you, how drawn in they are to you. It's like you, it's like a mag magnetic pull when they look at your photos. Or when they saw your photo for the first time, it was like almost like they knew you or they just uh, resonated they like basically resonated and connected with your the way you looked for whatever reason i think they felt like um you really match their physical appearance you know what i mean like they looked at your photos and thought that you guys would be like cup gold um what was i trying to say <laughs> uh 
a couple goals, like goals, like y'all would look uh, complimenting each other, basically. Or your face looks, I heard your face looks very compli complimentary. I don't even know if that's the word, but your face looks very, it just looks, hmm. Maybe you have like a very unique structure of face. I heard complex. Not saying that your your face looks weird. Maybe you think your face looks weird, but I feel like they think when they look at your photos, instead of weird, your face looks complex. It looks different. It looks uh, inspiring. It looks um, bold. Maybe you have like very bold. Your features stand out. Yeah, I got the Queen of Wands. You know what? I'm going to take all these. Yeah. Because I took... I'm going to just... Yeah. The spirits just wanted me to take these. I'm not even going to put them back in the deck. Okay, wow. Oh, my gosh. And then I got the sun at the bottom of the, of the beginning of the deck. Okay. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, you are definitely their muse, so they look at your photos quite often, more often than you actually think. This person e probably even has like photos of you saved in their phone that that you don't even know that they have saved, or a certain fit video, a certain video, or a certain picture for some of you guys. Maybe one that you don't even find that cute, but they think it's it's, it's cute. Like you're in this pile, you're this person's muse. I'm just, this person definitely masturbates to your photos. Um, they get hard, they get aroused off of your photos. My group, my um subscribers, y'all must be freaky. Or I just pick up all of the sex, like you guys, and the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is really sexy. So this person finds you very, 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 very sexy. You're, um, you're probably the type that posts, oh my gosh. <laughs> you're probably the type that look Knight of Wands. So you're the, yeah, they get definitely get horny looking at your photos. You probably take a lot of thirst, you're the type that takes a lot of thirst traps, King of Wands. A lot of thirst traps and um, you're very confident in your body, you're very confident. But you know that you don't look like all the other girls or that this person's been with there's something about a lot matter of fact i'm picking up on a lot of suitors i don't even think this is one person that i'm channeling it could be the main like whoever you are thinking about when you came to this reading i'm channeling his or her energy but i'm also channeling other suitors that you probably don't even know have your yeah other suitors have your photos saved or they look at your photos a lot on social media and if you sent your person a photo what they think about when they see that is sex i'm gonna just be honest they think about sex but then they also think about you guys might have had an argument or not even an argument like a disagreement and they're trying to figure out how to uh fix it between you guys but i, f I don't like i feel like they have a very heavy spark a very because i'm looking at this torch there's two torches actually Hmm. What do they think about when they see your photo? Or what did they think? They just think you're very, very hot, very attractive, very smooth, very... Hmm. You're like a... They feel like you could be like a, a a singer, like a a public influencer, like somebody that people come to see and you talk or whatever. You get paid to be seen, basically. Maybe you do get paid to be seen, and if not, they think you should like have like. There's a type of like they think you're so beautiful. You should start like a YouTube channel of like your face your face routine. I know this is weird, but some of you they think you would you're that beautiful you could make money off of just 
being yourself on the internet what else do they think about and feel they honestly feel very horny and like passionate towards you with this sun card i feel like they love okay for some of you they think about kissing you when they're looking at your photos or the last time you kissed For some of you, this person's like hiding something because you're so beautiful and independent and like fiery. Like you have all of the fire. If you don't, for this part, I don't know why I'm getting drawn to say look up the Queen of Wands on Google, like the definition of being a Queen of Wands, like being in that element of being a Queen of Wands. I feel like. You might not know that you're this powerful and you really are. I feel like you, even them looking at their photos, they, it sends them like etamorphines where it's like pleasurable to look at your face, to look at your features, to look at your body. Um, just them looking at your photos sends them energy. Because um, the, inter the internet is an actual portal, you guys. So when they look at your photos, that's like a portal like even pictures are just like these tarot cards are a portal that i'm looking into so when they look at your photo it's like it gives them energy or they masturbate to your photos in some type of way because they they get so charged up it's like it's like a very uh intense connection that you guys had or still have actually but for some of you they know that you can get any guy like when they look at your photos what they think is that you can get any guys you want um they probably look at your comments to see their competition <laughs> um what else they probably want to comment under your photos um what else they want to they wish they could start they want to move in fast is what I'm hearing. Like, when they look at your photos, they want to, like... I feel like maybe when they first saw your photos, they wanted to pursue you right away. Or maybe this is this is what happened. As soon as they saw your photos, they, like, jumped on that. Like, look how he's, like, looking at her and both... Even though he's looking at her with, like... Maybe for some of you guys, you're wondering how this person feels because you... They recently saw you with another guy or you posted a photo with another guy or something like that or oh my gosh for some of you I feel like they saw your nudes or your like they they saw a sex video of you probably before y'all met honestly and they've been wanting to fuck honestly that might offend some of you guys but they saw some type of video or they want to make a video it's like something sexual that comes to their mind when they when they see your photos for this pal you guys equally match each other it's like if they know you would be a good counterpart looking at your photos they know something about it i feel like they saw your photos for some of you guys before y'all even had sex and they knew off of like looking at you how you look that you had some bomb ass pussy or some bomb ass dick and they ended up being right and like ever since they have certain photos they saved of you and they keep them but they also want to some of you they want to take photos with you and post them online so that everybody know you're theirs they want it to be out in the open with the sun card but they just don't know how you would take it because you are the queen of wands you do what you want to do you have a lot of suitors i just saw 11 11 so this might be your twin flame um he might really miss you when he looks at your photos really misses you really um yeah so this is what i have for you pal too if this resonated please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next post Hello, group three. So if you chose this frog, this would be how your person um, thinks. What your person thinks when they see your photos. Um, 
and how they feel when they see your photo or how they felt when they first saw your photos extend. I'm gonna just pick up whatever I channel it. It's gonna be different for a lot of you guys. I'm only gonna pick three cards. How does pers how three's person feel and think when they see their person's photo? I think you're being sneaky for some of you. Damn. I'm gonna just keep this one because this one caught my eye. Ooh, tentacles. How they felt when they saw your photo. Did it? Okay, when they first saw your photo, okay, for some of you I'm channeling, they already met you. And when they really, really miss you, they look at your photos or a photo you sent of them. And they they think about you cooking for them, honestly. They think about moving in with you for some of you. They want to move in with you when they look at your photos. It brings them, like, uh, okay, so it brings them, like, comfort when they look at your photos. They think of, brings them some type of warm, comforting feeling inside. I don't feel like they know what to do with that type of emotion. I feel like they think of, it brings them to think about like moving in with you having kids kissing you they want to kiss you when they look at your photos like i'm automatically getting like when they look at, their, at your photos they wish you were right there in person they don't for some of you they don't want to look at your photos anymore it's torturing them for this paul like, i keep hearing it's torturing so like just like look at your photos and not be near you not be around you and if they are, if they can spend time with you sometimes, they're a little bit selfish. Like, they wish they could. What they think about is they wish they could be around you all the time, honestly. Not just sometimes. Not just, like, one day out of the week, two, three days out of the week. This person wants to be with you every day out of the week. And that's why I think I keep, it's, like, emphasis on, like, they want to move. In. Like, when they, they want to have an apartment or a house together. Or maybe you guys are saving up for a house to move in together. But some of you already, you guys are already planning this. But you just want to know how they how they feel or think about when they look at your photos, when you guys aren't together, when you when you send them photos. Maybe this, I'm getting the vibes because Three of Pentacles is about work, so I'm getting the vibes that this person probably travels for work. That's what it is. This person probably travels for work, or you travel for work, and that's why uh, you guys you guys are probably already moved in, or you guys are making this. It's gonna happen quick, pretty quickly. But yeah, this person, this person wishes she would send them more photos, actually. This is the type of where, this type of person, they love how you look so much. They want you to send them photos. Like, they would love if you sent them photos every hour. I just saw 333, so, and this is Three of Pentacles. So, it's like you guys are manifesting, moving in together, honestly, or working, uh, something to work, working together. Or maybe you're pregnant, or <laughs> they think about, okay. But some of you, they think about getting pregnant when they look at your photos or how your how you guys how your kids would look with both of your genes mixed something like that yeah for some of you guys you will end up getting pregnant by this person and moving in with this person um how do they feel when they look at your photos let's see how do they think what they think about is definitely uh the marriage the house the babies the the warm meals. Then we got the wheel. Give me up. Well, this is a reading for multiple people. So the vibe that I'm getting from this is that. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you. channel <laughs> for some of you they want to see they want a house they don't want an apartment they want a house when they look at your like this is the type of person that they want to move in but they want to give you everything that you deserve when they look at your photos like they know that you don't deserve nothing but the best so i feel like they imagine you 
just like this, like walking around the backyard or the front yard in like a robe, tidying up the yard, tidying up the flowers, a garden. I feel like you are the type of feminine that even like plant fruits and they notice something they think about. I know this is weird, but this is what they per this person thinks about. Like basically you cooking home meal, like you going to the grocery store, them going to the grocery store with you or they just them coming home to like a a nice meal. Or maybe I do cook for this person. This is what they just love when you cook for them. And this is what they think about when they look at your photos. Or for some of you, if you posted a picture like here in your house. I just saw a 555. Five, five. So, it could be a lot of challenges in the way. A lot of things and in the wheel. So, it could be about challenges and new cycles. So, I feel like this person, when you posted a photo, you sent them a photo of like in your house or in your room. They want to, like, if they haven't never been near over your house, they want to be over your house badly. Like, they want to see how your house looks. They want to see how your house smells. They think you have a nice smell. For some of you, you haven't met this person yet, but they have saw your photos somewhere. Or you guys are, like, talk. y'all just texting right now through social media, and you guys are going to end up dating. For some of you that have, like, for some of you, you... Are you already dating this person? Y'all are preparing to move in. And then some of you, you're, you haven't met them. You guys are going to start talking or something like that. How does this person feel or think about when you see your photos? Then we got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, this person wants to have fun with you when they think of when you see your photos. Um, maybe you posted something recently of you drinking. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you posted or like a girls' night out or something of like you having out like alcohol in your system, and this really turned them on with the Knight of Wands. Um, yeah, with the Knight. Damn. The Page of Wands. The Hangman. The Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's like this person recently, or you, okay, for some of you guys got drunk and probably called them or messaged them. And this went, and they started looking at your photos because they couldn't come to you for whatever reason. But they, baby, they they came to you. <laughs> like, literally, they masturbated to the thought of you, for some of you. If you sent them a photo. Okay, for some, because if some of you, you guys got drunk and sent them, like, a thirst trap. While they were at work or while they were, like, not near you. And they were thinking of, like, having sex with you, really. Or the last time. This person can't wait to get be near you though. The Ten of Wands, I feel like this person might be really faithful to you. I feel like this person might have other suitors, like other women with this wheel, because it's a bunch of other different looking women. But I feel like it's something about you and your aura when you look at your photos. I feel like they think about settling down with you for a fact. Like, how they, what they think about when they see your photos is settling down with you. But you guys kind of got that vibe when I was like, they want to move in. They think of moving in with you. Having kids with you. Um, it's something about you that is just different from all the rest of the girls that they deal with. You guys probably aren't serious. For some of you, you aren't serious or... Or this is just, for some of you, you guys met this person while you were out at a bar, like, drinking or something, you know what I mean? And you maybe sent, like, after y'all got sobered up, you end up having their number 
and you sent them a photo of yourself or that you sent their you either sent them a photo of yourself or their your instagram to this person and vice versa and how they feel is that they really they really only focus on you at, at the moment if you thought they were focused on other girls they're not they probably look at other girls photos or like on instagram or something but they look at your photos the most and they think about you the most I feel like when you look at other girls' photos, it's just, like, for boredom and stuff like that. Like, swiping through Instagram and social media. But I feel like they actually have your photos saved. Or they actually, like, <laughs> sit there and, like, think of you guys having a whole home and shit together. Like, having something stable, basically. Like even if y'all don't move in, they just want to at least have something stable where they could, um, they want to have some type of control over the relationship so where they don't feel something about, they just, they just want to, hmm, this ten of wands gives me like, maybe they work very hard for the thing, like, maybe you guys both work very hard, but... This person probably wants to take you out for drinks. Oh, for some of you, when this person starts drinking, they look at your photos or a photo or a thirst trap you sent them. And this is what gets them fucking going, like horny as fuck. Not that they don't look at your their, your stuff when they're sober, but when they're drunk is when they really, really. Maybe they even ask you for videos or pictures, or they like to Facetime. They want to Facetime you. So this is what I have for you, Pile Three. If it resonated, please please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in my next post. Hello, Pile Four. So. If you chose the dragon's eye, then this will be how you, what your person thinks about and how they feel when they see your photos or how they felt when they first saw your photo. This person really, because I just saw, you know, this person really thinks about starting new with you. Like I have to put the emphasis on like starting new or if something happened where they want to come in and like respect you now, they want to love you. It's something that that they're holding on to, some type of regret or some type of like or loss if y'all guys if you guys broke up or something. Or yeah, that's for those of you that I've already know this person or you guys. Yeah. Two of Cups. So, what this person thinks about when they see your photos. Okay, when they first saw your photos. You're like. You made them like starstruck. You made them like really like like look through your photos and like I don't almost like study the photos. They didn't look at your photos for this probably studied your photos. They studied the way your mouth looked, they studied the way your way your eyes blink, the way your hair falls around your face, the way your 
um layered titty for some i don't know why i'm getting like you maybe had like a, a top that didn't show your breast but it showed like the little line and then your uh collarbones is what they're attracted to like your chest area but it wasn't really like in a sexual way it was like the way your 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 uh neck your face and your chest is like and your shoulders are structured it's something very enticing and alluring it's something that makes them very emotional makes them desire you a lot like if i could say a lot like this person desires you a lot like i feel like it's over almost overwhelming because then they have to realize that if this is just a picture or video of my person <laughs> and then when they get you in person it's even more overwhelming and then we have the two of cups and the king of cups and the lovers and the six of pentacles i feel like this person this person thinks of surprising you when they look at your photos they want to surprise you with some type of offer or they want to live up to your expectations whatever that means some of you would know what that means um and then we have this eye the dragon so this person really does study your photos your features the way you walk the way you talk the way you dress the way your hair is the way you laugh the way you for some of you i just heard moan so if you guys have sex for some of you i'm getting majority of you guys haven't had sex will have and have some of you have sex and then some of you are leading up to that or you guys want to have sex i think the both of you guys seen each other's photos and want it and we're thinking about sex it was like equal with the six of pentacles being here in the two of cups it was like something that you go you guys both saw when you got when you saw each other's photos it was like mutual feelings if i could say that when you guys saw i feel like yeah you get overwhelmed when you see their photos too maybe about uh what is that about mm, for some of you making things right or making things fair yeah you guys want to make something fair maybe this is a third party situation yeah i'm getting third party but at the same time i feel like it could have been a third party but it's not a third party anymore or something like that or it ended up turning into a third party but it wasn't intentional and for some of you it's not that because we have the king of cups and the two of cups for some of you it's not that it's just you guys but i feel like you both have suitors if that makes sense um haters doubters and stuff like that but when they look at your photos what they think about is having a committed relationship with you because the king of cups is very committed uh masculine then we have the two of cups so this person definitely then we have the six of pentacles and that's about fairness and uh equality a uh, neutral balance um what else they they want all of that in a relationship when they look at you when they see their photos mm -hmm. and with this apple falling apart right down here with the thread i feel like this person is holding on to like some type of regret because i feel like they think that you you're losing interest or something like that yeah or you you become easily distracted <laughs> this is their perspective it doesn't mean this is true but if you know it's true then it's true or you get bored easily something like that when they that's what they think about um how they feel is deep emotions whether they let you know this or not but it could be blocked off because it is a third party or it turned into a third party or they got back with their ex, you got back with your ex or whatever. It just turned, for some, I'm just hearing it turned sour. It went left is what they think about, but they also think about making it, coming back. See how he's walking back in the door. It's like, they want to be present for sure. Present in your life. But I feel like present like they want some type of balanced emotional relationship not even physical financial they want to balance the emotional relationship when they look at your photos what else
they think about nurturing you, loving you, caring for you, respecting you. For some of you, they think about making love to you, for sure. Like, that's, like, like emphasis on that. Or you guys have, and when they look at your photos, it reminds them of that time. Um, what else? Maybe you did send this person a photo of your lingerie. Some type of lingerie with a long sock. Or, something. or they want to see this they picture you in something more revealing I feel like maybe you sent them an innocent photo but they would like something more revealing or they, this is what they think about when they see your innocent photos they want to see something more revealing mm, what else they think about for sure all the good times and not some of the bad times could be something special this could be something fair this could be something with longevity because i feel like they fear that it won't be longevity and that you'll kind of like break their heart but for this file i feel like it's more of the masculine feeling like they'll get their heart broken by the feminine so this a masculine watching is still the same thing it's like the more feminine energy you guys feel like they would break your heart For some of you, they want to come over to your house <laughs> really bad. They want to come inside of your house. They want to, they want you to feel more comfortable in the relationship. Maybe you aren't so comfortable. Maybe the feminine in this pile doesn't really want to settle down. What they think about is in their fantasy is like, if they go into a fantasy of thinking about you wanting to settle down when you look at your photos or videos. I think that one day you'll text them or call them and be like, confess all of your love to them or something. And like they confess, they could confess all their love to you when they look at your photos and your videos. But for this file, they even look at old texts. They look at your videos, your photos and old texts, all that. And if you guys are in communication, then this person just studies your photos and your videos. Like, they study you. They love how your features look. They love how you laugh, how you talk, all of that. For some of you, they like how your feet look, your hands and your feet. They like how your hair goes in front of your eyes and your face sometimes, like when the wind blows. I know that's random, but I channeled that. They just like how your hair is so wild and untamed sometimes maybe when you first wake up for some of you just have a bed head it's like but it's cute to them it's really cute to them it's really adorable everything about you is very adorable to this person they just adore you like look how the king of cups is just adoring her um what else yeah what else do they think about and feel? This person has really deep emotions for you, but um, maybe you're very small and petite. Like you have, but maybe you even have like a baby face. Um, and they really, really like that. They really like that. You have probably like chunky cheeks, like a round face, with like big, pretty eyes. And if they're not big, maybe you have like, um almond shaped eyes or something like that but yeah that's what i have for you pal four if it resonated please like comment and i'll see you in my next post hello pal five so this will be about how your person what your person thinks about or how they feel whenever they look at your photos That is how it makes them, when they look at your photos, it makes them want to do something risky. 
don't know what that means, but it puts them in like risky behavior. It makes them want to be. It's like it makes them very impulsive when they see your photos, or when you look at your photo. Okay, wait. I'm gonna take these. And the death. So, what they think if then the devil at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> or the at the top of the deck, and the fool. Oh, so if this person is in a third party, if you're in a third party, or you guys have other sexual uh, relationships other than this person, and vice versa, basically for some of you guys, uh, you have other sexual relationships or suitors, or you okay, for some of you, both of you guys are dating around. And when they look at your photos, what they think about is like, like risking it all. They have like a actual girlfriend or boyfriend. They think about, it's like you're the biggest temptation that they have right now. Like you're, you're something that can make them do something very stupid, very uh, selfish. They want to be stupid. For some of you, they want to be selfish when they look at your photos. If it's not their party, they just want to be selfish. They have very intense emotions, sexual urges, pulls towards you. When they first see your photos, though, they... They felt a, like a sexual connection already. Even if you guys didn't have sex, they kind of like manifested something sexual to happen with the devil. Like it was something that manifested... Because it's like they, before they saw you, they would just see your photos or you sent them a photo of yourself and like they automatically started manifesting new things. But I feel like this person, like the Knight of Cups is here, so they do have feelings, but I think it's like more of like a lustful feeling and they're trying to figure out is it lust and love, but I feel like it really could be both, but they're trying to, they're trying to just look at it as lust because you're so desirable to a lot of people with this devil card and this tower. It's like you're desirable to a lot of people and they know this when they look at your photos. Um, basically, they just know that like, damn, the same things that I'm thinking and other people think and I know they think this. So this person thinks that they have competition when they look at your photos, for sure. But it's like they wanna be the only one or something. Yeah, they want to be like the only one. <laughs> They're just trying so hard not to surrender or give in to this connection though. But they still go back and look at your photos, so I don't get it. Or they have photos of you that they still look at or keep. So they can, it can remind them of all the memories. It's like they want to hold on to the memory of you. And that's why they keep going back to your photos. Even if they started something new with somebody else. Or if you guys broke up and this is your ex. Your ex still. Okay for some of you. It's your ex still looking at your photos. I'm channeling your ex as well. It's like your new partner. Or maybe you're wondering about an ex. This person definitely still feels an attachment towards you. And I don't think it's a healthy one. I think they obsessed over this like they obsessed about they obs like they obsessed about about something like a feeling that you give them yeah with the tower card some type of feeling that you give them that they obsess over or something that you said or did that they obsess over and they wish they could uh go back to this time i think you know what i'm talking about or what i'm channeling it's like they this probably, this person could probably be um, mind traveling to that time when they look at your photos of their favorite time is what I'm hearing. Like their favorite memory. It doesn't mean it has to be your favorite memory, but they definitely like to look at your photos to take them back in time to their favorite memory of you guys together or just you in general. But they're definitely manifesting at like a fast ass rate when they're looking at your photos. 
maybe you guys okay for some of you guys they've been wanting to meet up with you for a long time and they're manifesting it really really fast and then some of you you guys already met and had like sexual sexual encounter and they're obsessing over that memory because they they feel like they can't win with you for whatever reason they feel like they can't Yeah, for some of you, they obsess over the photos of you. I just saw 555. Five, five. Because they feel like... they, For some reason, they feel like they can't get a hold of this relationship. Like, it won't stay stable. It won't stay still is what I'm hearing. Because the nights are about movement, transition, traveling. So I feel like this relationship is always moving. It's always traveling. It's always changing and shifting. And it kind of frustrates this person. I'm not going to lie. When they look at your photos, they think of every, like all the. Basically, they think of all the challenges, and it frustrates they frustrates them. When they look at your photos, at the same time as like them. Okay, for some of you, they feel like they don't ever have enough time for you. Um, time for you or time with you, and this is turning into an obsession, and this is why they go and look at your photos. It's becoming obsessive that they can't get enough time to be with you. Or when you guys do finally get time to be together, it's, it's very limited is what I'm hearing. It's very rushed. It's very quick and fast. It doesn't sit well with them, really. It doesn't. Because I feel like they, they think that other people have more time with you than they have. And you could be feeling the same way. This person might have sent you, or this person probably wants to send you a dick pic, or like a, if you're a feminine, they want to, or if you're masculine, they want to send you like a pussy pic, titties, they, but they just don't know how you would react. <laughs> mm -hmm. They definitely want to explore this, and I feel like that's why it's such an obsession. When they look at your photos, they think of exploring, uh, different realms and elements of the relationship they don't I feel like you guys have been in a realm or like a element of the relationship for too long like maybe it was just sexual for a long time and now they want to explore other things with you they don't want just sexual they want uh intimacy they want conversation they want uh things outside of that or it could just be you guys have been just conversating over the phone and they want to explore you in a sexual and, and emotional way when you look at your photos this person obsesses over your photos like or videos obsesses about the memory that you guys have like it's like overwhelming to them it's like not even overwhelming i, I want to say i want to say they they release all of this overwhelming energy when they look at your photos so for example like if they was to think about you all day they wouldn't just keep thinking about you and feeling Emotional, they would go and look at your photos because it's almost like looking at your photos to them is the same thing as like seeing you in person, even though it's kind of not. It's just so intense when they look at your photos that it kind of feels like you're right in front of them because they do something with their mind where it takes them back to like the memories, like I said. So, this is what they do when they look at your photos they basically pretend you're there in real life, honestly. And it's becoming a fantasy. It's becoming an obsession. <laughs> I feel like they even look at your photos and picture what you would say to them in person. Like, I know that sounds creepy and scary, but this is what they do. Like, they sit there, look at your photos, and it's kind of like they have a conversation with you in their mind. And you respond back, and then they respond, and then you respond back. And it makes them happy inside or something like that. It makes them feel like you're here with them or something like that it makes them feel uh in union with you or something or close to you in that moment or they think of a time when you guys did have a conversation and that conversation made them really happy and so when they look at your photos they 
replay that conversation at that time back in their head over and over again if that makes sense makes sense to somebody and how they feel about you is they want to explore they want the emotions to grow like they already have emotions and they're like already growing and they want but they it's not that this person is running from it they want to explore it they just don't know how yet i think because they're going through like a transformation with the death and i feel like your photos really help this person out while they're recovering is what i heard while they're recovering for something maybe they got into an accident or something happened to them something tragic some challenges i think i did say f i saw five 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 so this uh excuse me my cat is over here going crazy but i feel like um they most definitely they they went through something tragic is what i'm hearing something sudden something that changed everything in their life honestly that they had to put to rest that you can't be a part of right now maybe that's why and maybe that's why they feel like they can't be around you but a limited amount of time so if you see this person it could be like quickies quick links sneaky links anything that's not stable right now and it's because they're putting something to rest that they've been needing to put to rest for a long time and looking at your photos really puts them in like bliss i want to say like an orgasm or like a very soothing state of mind almost like wow your photos honestly put this person to a deep meditation so maybe that's why and this is it's in this obsession to them because it puts them their brain in a meditative state instead of i feel like their brain is overact over is overactive at the moment or they could be having like troubling thoughts uh negative thoughts this person's going through their shadow work probably and looking at your photos really help this person and it really really i heard it relieves their pain in some type of way this person is in deep pain right now they probably don't show you this they probably hide it um a lot of us do that when we're in pain. We don't really want to express it to our lover. So this person's kind of like hiding in it, hiding from admitting that to you. But they look at your photos to get them through the day, to get them through the rough patches in their life. Um, yeah. This is what I have for you, Power 5. If it resonated, please like, comment, and I'll see you in my, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.